Hey guys, it's Rhonda coming to you with another Browse With Me. And today I'm at my local Sephora and I'll take you on a tour of their fragrance section and see what's new. And now let's go inside and take a look around. All Atelier Cologne fragrances are 40% off due to the brand leaving the U.S. market. Now's the time to grab a bottle or two because once they're gone, they're gone. I've been wanting to try a lot more fragrances from the house of Juliet Has a Gun. I tried Hmm. Vanilla Vibes, as well as the new Nada Perfume Superdose. Congrats to Jackie Ina on her candle brand, Forever Mood. I so love this for her. You go, girl. I really like this Jo Malone car logo. This is really, really nice. I was surprised when I seen that. And they have a the full range of Jo Malone fragrances. I try Nectarine Blossom as well as Peony Suede and Blush, I believe it's called. And they also have the body creams down below that I actually got to sample. And I really like the body creams. So I may end up picking up one of the body creams. And also from Giorgio Armani, My Way. You guys, I really, really love that scent. So I am really contemplating on picking up a bottle of that. I also tried all of the Chloe's that I had that I do not have in my collection. And I was also quite surprised by Nomad. I might pick that one up. Now, what I really, really wanted to smell was the new flower bomb ruby orchid and you guys when i smelled it i was like oh no ma'am it to me it just smells like the original flower bomb so it was not enough for me to pick it up but i guess i will try it again and i also tried the flower bomb do i really like that one a little bit more than the ruby orchid and to my surprise they also have flower bomb nectar usually the other sephoras in my previous city they never had them in stock but they actually had them in this sephora they also have a, a large collection of gucci which my collection of gucci is really large so i didn't need to smell any of those because i've already tried all of those and i just kind of moseyed on along from dolce and gabbana because i already have a lot of dolce and gabbana so I just wanted to see what they had new and then I seen the new Daisy from Marc Jacobs, Daisy Sky. So I hurry up and pick that up to try it, but I'll tell you that was a no ma'am for me. And last but not least, 
Valentino Donna. As you can see, that bottom was clearly empty because that is what everyone is loving this spring. That Valentino Donna Born in Roma is an excellent, beautiful black current scent. So I'm almost at the end. I think I have Tom Ford left. And you guys, I really don't like the original Tom Ford Black Orchid or Black Orchid in uh, Eau de Toilette. I don't like the ombre leather, so I kind of just kind of moseyed on along. And I seen the new Leap Intense version. So I went ahead and I sprayed that on my hand. I don't know why I did that because, honey, it dried down to smell like the original. And I'm not a fan of the original. So that one was a no ma'am. It smelled good in the beginning, but after that, honey, no. And then down at the bottom, we have all of these Versace perfumes. You guys, I literally have all of those ones displayed except for that one. And also, they have a Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And you guys... I was so intrigued to pick up the Blooming Bouquet. No, 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 no. It's absolutely blooming. I really, really wanted to pick that one up. But, honey, I couldn't do the $142 price tag. So, I left it there. But, that is about it with the Dior. And at the bottom, there's all the poisons. And I don't like neither of the poisons. So, I just exited the store. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Browse With Me. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And you guys, I'll see you in the next one.